There was panic in paradise today. An accidental alert went out across Hawaii urging people to take shelter due to an incoming ballistic missile. The false alarm was eventually called off, but not before Hawaiians and tourists started scrambling, even saying their goodbyes. Carter Evans has the latest details. The emergency alert caused pandemonium when it went out to cell phones this morning across the islands, and it did not mince words. Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii, it said, seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. The false alert also went out on local TV. The U.S. Pacific Command has detected a missile threat to Hawaii. And prompted evacuation announcements. Please report to the lobby to receive direction to the basement. Desperate parents put their children into manholes. Terrified families huddled in closets. Others shared what they thought could be their final goodbyes. And I just wanted to know that I love you guys. We thought this was it. Laurie Callies and her family ran to their basement for cover. My 95-year-old mother, who we were not going to say anything to until we had all the information, who lives in a retirement community here, called us on the phone and she said, I can't get on the floor. I can't get on the floor. And she survived Pearl Harbor. That when terror out, soon turned tomorrow. to anger. Said, Heads better roll on this one. Hawaii Senator Brian Schatz tweeted, there is no missile threat. It was a false alarm based on human error. CBS News spoke to him on the phone. Regardless of whether it's human error or a computer glitch or a hack, uh, whatever it was, it's totally unacceptable and there needs to be uh, better accountability. It took 38 minutes for emergency management officials to correct the mistake. I encourage them to just go ahead and tweet out no missile threat. I don't know how much longer we would have been waiting. Hawaii Governor David Ige now says a worker pushed the wrong button during a shift change, sending the warning out to the entire state. The Federal Communications Commission is now investigating. Rena? Carter Evans, thank you, Carter.